All right. All right, I'll just do it this way real quick. I am, you may notice this is a bit better picture quality, but the auto quality is kind of all over the place. That's because I'm trying to use my nice equipment. I have a nice DSLR that I bought ages ago. I have a lapel mic that I don't really use. And I was trying to get the camera set up, and after all that, I realized that it won't really be able to pick up my audio that well. And I don't want to fiddle with working with the lapel, but I want to wanted to make a video so I could keep getting them out so I could stay in the hot streak that I am. So we're just doing this quick video where I'm spending most of it explaining why it's all shaky all of a sudden. But we're gonna be making what's called a Boulevardier. Here are the ingredients for that. I can get it focused, all right. It's a really simple three ingredient drink and you can build it in the glass, but I'm gonna serve my neat, so I'm gonna be doing it in my shaker tin. It is bourbon, sweet vermouth, and Campari. There is a drink called the Negroni that is almost the exact same thing, only with gin instead of bourbon. Um, and I think it came out first, but I'm not sure. Um, and this might be more approachable for some of you because it's, well, bourbon. Not everyone likes gin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this down. Is that even? That is not. That is better. That is much better. All right, so shaker 10, I need a jigger. Perfect right here. It is not quite equal portions. It's a bit heavier on the spirit. So we're gonna go with one ounce of Campari. Mm, all right, not quite a full ounce. That is the last of my Campari, which I didn't think I'd ever go through because it's kind of bitter stuff. That's part of the whole spirit behind it, but it's all right because I'll pull back just a little bit. I, my ideal ratio that I was gonna try to go for is ounce of Campari, ounce of sweet vermouth, ounce and a half of bourbon, but instead I did just shy of an ounce, just shy of an ounce, and probably about one and a quarter ounces of the bourbon for this. Okay, that goes in, nice and simple that way. Put the lid back on, ice. I don't know how Greg does that. I probably can only use better ice. That's what it is, he's got better ice. Then, right. stir, 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 stir. And you can get this pretty cold. And I'm just gonna let it sit on the ice for a second. There's really no harm in doing that. Yeah, I think a martini glass will be fine. Go with a little bit of uh, orange peel. going to take and I like to pull this directly over the glass because a lot of oils are expended when you're peeling and that's the whole point of doing this so closer to the glass I give it a quick little squeeze wipe it around the rim twist drop it in pick you back up and let's go ahead give it a try That's really good. <laughs> I mean, I like it a lot. One of the best drinks that I've ever had at a cocktail bar was a version of this where they took it and actually barrel aged the cocktail, which is something you could do, but we'll talk about that another day. It's not a very sweet drink. If you notice, there's no sugar components in here. The closest thing to that is the sweetness you get from the sweet vermouth, but Campari is very bitter stuff. Sweet vermouth, while it's less dry than dry vermouth, it's still pretty kind of tart, and of course bourbon has no sugar in it. But it does give me a very bittersweet flavor from it, uh, and I, I like it a lot. I, I think that if you don't, this isn't your, this won't be your thing if you crave sweetness. This is definitely a very bittersweet type of deal, but there's a lot of great complexity in there because you can taste the bourbon, the orange goes really well with it because there's orange notes in Campari. There's all kinds of different flavor notes in bourbon and the vermouth. It's this lovely taste. I really think you should give it a try. Anyways, so I want to just make a quick video um, and I'm spending half an hour trying to set up the camera and then I couldn't do that setup. I'm working on it. I really am. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.